Good day. Finished these Gordon Highlanders, uh, the 92nd. Uh, this is actually a repaint because I painted these once before and sold them. Uh, and, and subsequently had to repaint them, but I managed to keep a couple of stands, and that one, and I think that one. So I'll bring a couple forward for you to see. So that's one of the original ones. So save me eight, well, maybe it could call save me paint an extra eight men. Which was a bonus. Nice amount of kernel. You've got your command stand. <clears throat> the more astute amongst you will notice. I haven't got any flags for these yet. Uh, that's because flags are all were closed. I think they're open again now. Um, so I can order them. So I will get around to doing that. So these are a mixture of Victrix, Perry, and Front Rank. As I mentioned before, last time I did these, the front rank ones are the easiest to paint, I think anyway. And then the last one's got the sergeant on it. So the sergeant's definitely front rank. I put the drummer in this little stand as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And normally I would put the musician further back, but I put him in this uh, this particular stand this time around because we couldn't fit in anywhere else really. <laughs> uh, I have made an error. I haven't painted the. Uh, let's put these there because they're going to be the grenadiers. I haven't painted the grenadiers with the correct colour plume, so I need to sort that out. And the same with the light company. Oh, do you mean? The light company. I haven't done that. So I'll do a flyby. So you see his shaky hand. So I've done 24 man unit. Um, now if you wanted, you know, each stand, if you like, represents one company. Uh, but you could have up to as many as 10 companies if you really wanted. It just means painting more men. I'll turn around and do another flyby. So just in case anyone's interested, this is what it looked like from the other way around. So I'll put the camera back on the tripod. One second. So that's another unit to add to my British Napoleonic army. Uh, I'm quite pleased how these come out. Um, <clears throat> I know the Tartan isn't, you know, perfect, but at the end of the day, these are just a representation, aren't they? So I know that's kind of how the uh, the tartan does look on the uniforms. Um, and you, you could go to town and, and paint it a lot more realistic than what I've done. But as I say, I've just painted these as a, a representation of what that tartan would have looked like. And obviously from a couple of feet away, they look pretty good right across the table. Stand out quite nicely. Hope everybody's well. Um, and I will catch you all in the next one there'll be some stills at the end as normal uh, thanks for watching thanks for dropping comments by the way uh, and yeah bye for now